Day 72, the suffering, and we are coming to an end on this. Like I said, this is phase one of what we're doing. After phase one, I'm taking like a week off from training, and then we're gonna move on to phase two of this, the pursuit to get abs. I was hoping to have my abs this go around, but I kind of had a feeling in the back of my, my mind that like, not, not a feeling, but I kind of like in the back of my heart. I, I don't know, you get what I'm trying to say. I, I, I had this like gut feeling that I wasn't gonna have my abs just go around. And I, I dieted extreme. I did chicken and rice, been doing chicken, boiled chicken, brown rice. Y'all know the diet after I watch. And uh, the chicken and rice just didn't cut it. Uh, I didn't get, I feel like I lost a lot of mass, muscle mass and um, body fat together. I, I lost a lot of both. I'm not gonna like, you know, like try to downplay it. I lost a lot of water weight at first and then I did lose a lot of body fat, but I've also lost a lot of muscle mass in the process of this. I lost a lot of my back. I lost a whole lot of body fat on my backside, which is fine. My legs are looking a lot leaner, my arms, my back, everything about my stomach is looking leaner. So that's just less body fat I have to worry about on phase two. And then hopefully I can, it starts focusing more on this. Um, nine more days, man. And then t today my, my pec and my incision feels really tight. Uh, I, I got a lot of tension in there and it doesn't feel healthy. It, it feels uh, not good. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit lighter tonight. And I started off with cable crossovers instead of dumbbells. So I don't know if it's maybe like, this isn't a good movement to warm up with. And this is too much stretch and stress on the, on the area. And maybe I should have warmed up with like dumbbells. And maybe that's more along the lines of what my body needs to feel like to get warmed up in that scar tissue. And maybe the squeezing, like this, like kind of like barrel hugging ish motion is not a good movement to do whenever my pec isn't warmed up but and it could just be a combination of like accumulation of last week and dehydrating and sweating so freaking much and being in the heat non-stop and not getting a whole lot of sodium and and all that good stuff and like always i'm not counting my reps i'm just i'm just going to go until i get a good burn i'm just trying to get a good stretch in the in the muscle right now in the pec with a good burn. I'm not trying to really hold a squeeze or anything either. I just kind of want a nice good stretch, the smooth fluid motion both ways. Just taking it through the range of motion. I don't know, it's like, oh, you shouldn't just take it through the range of motion. Well, the way I feel right now, I am. I'm trying to listen to my body. And when the grease is hot, I'm gonna cook real hard and push really aggressive. But when my body's starting to feel a little tired and worn out, I'm gonna back off a little bit and uh, give my body a little bit of rest. Call it active recovery. I'm supersetting these with the good old pet decker. Again. Well, with this, I'm not trying to get a huge stretch. I'm just trying to get more of a squeeze at the top. Because if I go too far back on these, because it's a fixed motion, it does not feel good in my shoulders. So I like to just kind of keep this more of like a top end contracting. I know, like this is like, oh, this is one of the best movements you could do for like a stretch. You know, it's also a really good movement to get a hard squeeze. <sighs> And like I said, my pec just doesn't oh, I feel that great today. Whew. So I'm not gonna push it at all. I definitely have diet fatigue. I, I definitely have diet fatigue, Whew. which is fine. You know, I see some of these other videos and these people talking like about like fighting demons in the gym. Like, oh, I fight my demons in the gym. I got demons and I go to a dark place and I fight my demons in this dark place. Like, I never understood that. The gym was always like a happy place for me. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an aggressive person, don't get me wrong. I like the intensity and being aggressive, but like, I never understood the whole like, I'm fighting demons with dumbbells. Like, what? <laughs> like, I, I come to the gym to have a good time and have fun. I move some weights and feel my body and get to play and, feel my body moving and pumping and 
the blood and everything else like that it just feels good to me i just like it it's just like it's like a fun like a fun time it's like a good place to be i just don't understand that whole like what demons like i don't I'm never I mean I've, I've gone to the gym angry for outside reasons and sources but like I didn't go to the gym with the intent to be like oh, I had a bad day at work and my boss was mean to me uh, demons uh, demons hourly wages uh, waking up and, and having to work for a living oh, these demons daddy didn't hug me Daddy didn't hug me. Why didn't daddy hug me? I never understood. I never understood that. <sighs> I'll show her. She doesn't think I'm, I'm, I'm handsome or sexy. She doesn't want to date me. She doesn't want to date me. I'll show her. I'm, I'm going to spend my life picking up these heavy things to pick up heavier things. So, so one day she'll see me and then she'll be like, Oh, oh, he... Well, he's in shape. Um, demons, oh, my demons. I never got that. I zone out. Like, I just stopped thinking. Right before my set, like, I just, I zone completely out. Like, unless I'm talking to you guys. Like, I completely zone out. I don't think about nothing. Good, bad, negative, angry sad happy i try to just go into it with a very blank mind of just like a euphoric state of nothingness and it just feels good i just like to feel the muscles moving in the joints Oh, it's like right here, what are you doing? You punching demons coming out of the ceiling? Ah, ah, demons, get away from me, demons. Yeah, you like it when I press these 20 pounds towards you? Yeah, demons, oh yeah, take it, demons, take it. Yeah, take it, demons. I never, I never understood that. I, just, I mean, if you're watching this and you're getting offended, all right, oh, hey, man, if that's what gets you through your workout, that's great, but I, 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 I come to get the blood flow. The, the pump that's what I come for oh. no demons in there oh. just happy vibes man good times he just to his own though so it's like if that's what gets you through your day and gets you through your diet and gets you through your workouts. And by all means, I mean, you got to fight demons. And I mean, I mean, fight your demons. But most people, I think, can be fighting obesity <laughs> and insulin resistance. I think what most people should be fighting, not demons. But it is what it is. I saw this, uh, this video and this guy made a comment like about CrossFit chicks saying like, do you like CrossFit chicks? And they showed a bunch of different CrossFit girls. And a lot of the comments were like, ah, that's disgusting. Those girls are too big. They're too muscular. I don't want a woman bigger than me. It's like, dude, if these girls that are like five foot two to five foot five have a six pack and they're bigger than you, that says a lot because those girls are probably like 100 to 120 pounds. They weigh between 100 to 120 pounds, most of those CrossFit chicks. They're not very big. Most of them are pretty short, between five foot and five foot five. And they're all between like 100, 120, maybe 130 pounds. If a female has a six pack, it doesn't matter how big her arm looks, she's not a very big girl. She's, there's still very little in structure, very little in size. So I was like, I'm six foot at, last time I weighed in, I was 207. And if you put one of those girls next to me, even like the most jack looking CrossFit girl, they're gonna look really tiny next to me. It's, it's a comparison thing. Like if you have nothing next to them to show their actual size, they're gonna seem bigger than what they are. Like it's, it's an illusion. So, it's easy to make something small look big if there's no comparison. Like, like you can make Eddie Hall look small and have Thor Beyonce if you put him in front of the right thing. 
or behind the right thing, you can make them look small. Like look at those bodybuilders that Brian Shaw stood next to. They had like a, oh, the Arnold Classic or something. I forgot what it was, but they had these really, really massive looking bodybuilders. I mean, they looked huge. And then Brian Shaw went, stood next to them. And they looked like children. And these guys were like right here to him. Granted, he's like six foot eight, but still like these dudes look so huge. And then he walked up next to them and they're like the size of his leg. <laughs> it's an optical illusion. So I, I like fit chicks. I mean, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I, I would take a, a fit chick with abs and arms over a morbidly obese partner that's on uh, insulin and, and all kinds of health issues and stuff like that. So someone who's athletic that can keep up with me that can actually do the things that I like doing. If I, if I was single and I wasn't married, that's, that's what I would be looking for. But again, each is to its own. Uh, these videos are running a little shorter and shorter every day just because, like I said, man, I've been doing this, this is day 72. And it's not that I'm getting burnt out, it's just I'm getting tired. So I guess I'm getting burnt out, <laughs> I don't know. But I gotta get on the cardio. I gotta do the Stairmaster tonight. I did 40 minutes this morning. I'm probably gonna do about 15 minutes tonight. Just try to get the last nine days, get the most out of, get the absolute most out of these last nine days that I can get. Like I know my abs aren't, it's not happening, but I could get as close as I can, regardless if I, and that, I think that's a problem with a lot of people. They, they have a goal or they have an idea of what they want. And once they realize I'm not gonna hit my goal, or I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get it. They, they want to backpedal and they want to turn off or they want to go opposite direction or they just give up. But it's like, nah, this isn't the end. Like just because you have a goal doesn't mean like, oh, well, once I hit my goal, I never have to do nothing ever again. No, it's, it's just like, like I said, this is phase one, then we're gonna go into phase two. And how many phases are there? As many as you need to be able to get to where you want to be. So this is phase one and we're almost done. I know I keep saying it, but guys, I'm just so excited to be done with this chicken and rice. I hate it so much. Like I, I, I've been dealing with it. It's gotten easier. It's gotten easier and easier to eat over the weeks, but I still hate it and I'm just, I'm over it. I'm, I'm absolutely over it. I will, I will never do chicken and brown rice again if I can help it. If I, if I, can, if I can help it, I will never do chicken breast again or brown rice. I, I, I hate it so much. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow.